The holiday season is here and you finally decided that you're going to buy a 3D printer. Whether it's for yourself, for your kids, your spouse, whomever it's for, you've decided, hey look, I wanna buy them the best beginner, budget-friendly 3D printer I can buy for the money. So you've started to do a lot of research. You've seen Elegoo, you've seen Anycubic, Prusa is just kind of out of your price range. You see Bamboo Lab, but you're like, I don't know, there's so many different options. Which one do I pick? You've seen Cheaty Tech, where, hey, maybe this is a good budget option. And you're just confused. You're like, oh my gosh, your brain's gonna explode. There's so many different options to choose from. Well, I'm here to give you guys my best budget-friendly, beginner-friendly pick of this year that I would recommend for most people going into the holidays. And that printer is none other than... The Bamboo Lab A1. Now let's tell you why. The number one reason right now why I would recommend the Bamboo Lab A1 over any single 3D printer is the price. I think for $279 on Bamboo Lab's Black Friday sale that they have going until December 5th, it's one of the best buys in 3D printing you can get. And it's not an old 3D printer by any means. It actually has a lot of the newer features featured in some of the new Bamboo Lab 3D printers, such as like flow calibration. I mean, obviously every single 3D printer now comes with auto leveling. The calibrations are all done by itself. It has tangle detection. So a lot of those things are very nice to have for a beginner 3D printer. The P1S, for example, if you don't get it with the AMS, actually doesn't have tangle detection. And the P1S is an older 3D printer. It came out around three years ago versus the A1, I believe it was about a year and a half, two years ago, about now. So I think you're, you're just getting a newer 3D printer over the P1S and you're saving about $120 even with this Black Friday sale going on. And between me and you guys, Bamboo Lab 3D printers, they just, they just kind of work. I'm sure you've heard that before, so I don't want to say that too many times on this video, but Bamboo Lab 3D printers, they just work. I've never had to contact customer service on any one of my three Bamboo Lab 3D printers. I've paid for these 3D printers myself, and I just think, man, I wish someone would have recommended me these 3D printers that I personally knew or that I knew and just shouted from the heavens, hey, just buy this 3D printer so that way you don't have to mess around with anything else. Almost every other single 3D printer that I've used, I've had to tinker with in some way, except for these Bamboo Lab 3D printers. I'll go out on a limb and say, I've received some free 3D printers, not from Bamboo Lab, but from other companies. And no other company, frankly, has provided me a 3D printer I would be more comfortable with 3D printing than the Bamboo Lab A1. One of the other main benefits if you buy the Bamboo Lab A1 versus another 3D printer is you get access to Bamboo Lab's ecosystem. Now the Bamboo Lab Handy app works extremely well. I've never had an issue with the app on my phone. Another thing is, is if you break parts, normally any single part you break on this 3D printer is readily available for order on their website. The other day, actually, when I was moving this after doing a video, I broke off this little lever piece here that is actually the wiper for the nozzle. It's a pretty important part to have. I just went on their website. I believe it was $5.99. Maybe it was only $4. Shipping was $6, so that was a little iffy. But for $11 total, I had that part within a week shipped to my house. It didn't come from China. It came from a warehouse in California. I'm relatively close being in Arizona. That week, I was already up and running with this 3D printer. You don't have to worry about, okay, now I can't track down this part as you would with other 3D print manufacturers. If you just go to 3D print manufacturers' websites, no other company, and I repeat, no other company than maybe Prusa, has all of the parts available like Bamboo Lab does. And to me, I cherish that. I think that's an extremely awesome thing about these 3D printers. On top of this, with the build plate size of the Bamboo Lab A1, you aren't really limited in any way. Now, one of my favorite projects that I've actually done on the A1 is this guy. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you and say that the whole thing was printed with the Bamboo Lab A1, but 75% of this project was printed with the Bamboo Lab A1 3D printer. Most 3D modelers actually make it so pretty much any one of their models fits on a Bamboo Lab printer with the 256 cubed build plate size. Now, if you look here, I'll move this up. It actually took me longer than I thought to raise this, uh, anyway. If you look here, you can see, now this barely fits on this build plate, 
But what's awesome is a lot of 3D modelers actually would break this Mandalorian up into like three pieces and boom, you can 3D print it on the Bamboo Lab A1. Now, if you want something that's going to print a little bit bigger than this, let's just say you wanted to print it in one go, you're looking at a pretty expensive upgrade being the H2S if you're buying a Bamboo Lab 3D printer or other 3D printers. But frankly, I wouldn't trust most of those other companies to continually put out awesome prints, let's just say a thousand hours into your 3D printer. For example, I have over 1500 hours on this 3D printer and the only thing I have ever done is clear out a clog. I have not put any grease on any rods or anything. I've not replaced any other parts than that, that wiper part I broke myself. But that's the awesome thing about this 3D printer. It continually tells me to do maintenance and should I do maintenance, like, like I said, grease the, the rods or whatever it's asking me to do. <laughs> I just kind of click, okay, I did it. And I've never had an issue with this 3D printer. Now let's talk about the multicolor system for the Bamboo Lab A1. This is the AMS Lite. Now for only an extra $100, you can get the combo for $379. That to me is a really good price. Even if you don't multicolor print, you can use this to auto reload your filament because there's no worse feeling than waking up in the middle of the night. Maybe you started a 12 hour print. You're like, okay, I'm gonna wake up at 6 a.m. and this is gonna be done. And you realize at midnight or one o'clock in the morning, it stopped printing because it ran out of filament. And it's been doing nothing for the last six hours except for keeping your build plate warm so it doesn't fall off. That is like the worst feeling in the world. So if nothing else, if you don't plan on doing multicolor prints, it's kind of nice to have it just for that reason. Now, a lot of people will say, okay, well, maybe should I splurge for the AMS or the AMS2 Pro, the enclosed version, because a lot of people do find issue that this is exposed material, meaning there's no enclosure for this. So humidity can get into your PLA and things of that nature. Now, I've never had an issue personally with uh, any humidity or moisture getting into my PLA. However, I do live in Phoenix or the Phoenix area, which is a very dry environment for the most part. And any sort of stringing and stuff that I get with my prints, I always assume it's my print settings. I adjust them a little bit and I have no issues, or I take a little blowtorch and all of the stringing goes away. Now, you don't wanna hold it there too long. You don't wanna incinerate your 3D prints, but it does get rid of a lot of the stringing left behind sometimes if that is an issue. So again, if you are going to pick up the Bamboo Lab A1, we're going for budget friendly, like beginner friendly, and I think the AMS Lite is just that. For under $400 to get a printer of this capacity and this reliability is just insane. This type of 3D printer four or five years ago would have been a $700 3D printer. And to me, that is absolutely bonkers. Now, some of you might be saying, well, what about the Snapmaker U1? This is a four color multi-tool head 3D printer, which is a crazy steal. Look, that printer is now being offered for $850. And if it was readily available, I would potentially be talking about it. But let's talk about that next year when we're talking about budget friendly, best multicolor printer, because frankly, it's not available to most of the public as of right now. And yeah, so there's really no reason to talk about it for the holiday season. People can't just go out and buy this 3D printer. And it is more than double the price. Now let's talk some of the limitations when it comes to the Bamboo Lab A1. Very clearly, it's not fully enclosed, so it's not gonna capture a lot of that heat in. So on this printer, you can't print with materials like ABS, ASA, some of your carbon fiber materials, some of your higher engineering filaments that require that high heat. Now I would say with some of those materials like ABS and ASA, they provide VOCs much higher than that of PLA and PETG. And yeah, it's just not something that I personally print in my home, in my garage. I stick mainly to only PLA and PETG. Frankly, I've never printed with those materials because I do proceed with caution, having my family here. I, yeah, there's just not a lot known about printing with those materials. So if that's something you were planning on, make sure you do your own research, but then the Bamboo Lab A1 is not for you. The other limitation is of course, it's not a core XY 3D printer, so it is going to be a little bit slower. And that's not necessarily a limitation, it's just something you need to consider. When you're starting to get a lot taller with some of these 3D prints, with the bed going back and forth, it's going to want to wobble that 3D print. So you're gonna to wanna to slow it down if you're printing with a taller print. Other things to call out is on this, like the P1S, the camera is 
not great, but it can be viewed from the app just to see if your 3D print is failing or not and to stop the print remotely from the app. It does just enough to at least you can see, hey, my print is doing fine. Maybe you would want to get a third party camera. There is some cheap $15 like wireless cameras that are pretty good, like a 720p. I'll link one down below because I've used it before and I've viewed it on an app perfectly fine. And then you can go ahead and go into the Bamboo Handy app if you notice anything wrong with your 3D print and cancel it. The touch screen, touch screen does get a little laggy at some points, especially when you're loading filament. So it can take a little bit to load. Nothing that's overly concerning to me. Again, this is a budget 3D printer. You're not gonna get the best screens like that on like the H2S or the P2S, but the P2S isn't even available in the United States as of now. Those are some of the things that I found important to call out with this machine. People may have other things that are of concern with the Bamboo Lab A1, but mainly that's it for me. So to sum all of this up, I think the Bamboo Lab A1 is the best printer going into the holidays. If you're on a budget, you're buying this for your kids, you just want them to explore and be creative or maybe you're buying it for yourself and yeah you just want something that's good gonna get the job done but you're not quite sure if you want to fully dive into 3d printing yet the bamboo lab a1 is the perfect option at 279 dollars or $379 for the combo, I don't think you can go wrong. And if anything, you can use it for production purposes for PLA Pet G, just pounding out those 3D prints. I, Again, the only thing that you're really getting with the P1S is, okay, now you have those fully heated materials. It's a little bit faster. But even then, if you want those engineering materials, you do have to upgrade the nozzle to hardened steel. So you're still paying a little bit more than the $400 that that one is at currently. The prices do stand for the Bamboo Lab A1 till December 5th. Um, I don't know if they're gonna offer anything additionally outside of that, not being paid in any way to make this video. This is just what I wish someone would have made and I would have watched a video like this before purchasing. So again, it's just my personal experience with the machine. I absolutely love it. It's gotten me back into 3D printing. Greatly even encouraged, encouraged me to make this channel at this point because I just fell so much back in love with 3D printing. But with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good rest of your day. Remember to hit that subscribe button and that like button before leaving and comment down below what you would like to see next.